That was extreme. Not only did it go from training wheels off on that final push this from Dad, tale begins near White Orchard, but we were My thrown of Rivia, seeking his lover of into the into the dirt biking. <laughs> she deluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. Excuse me, I didn't mean dirt biking. I meant mountain biking. Oh, hello. What up? I'm being washed by these lovely ladies. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. Oh, my gosh. No, no, they could stay. They could, they could, they could stay. Hmm. It must suffice. What? Think a mere cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his imperial majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Catwin, please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. What? Hey, no! Uh, I guess it has to meet a certain standard for the audience. Dude, don't! No! It's what's in! Yeah! Something wrong with my beard? Yeah, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. There's no lice then in I'm my face. A while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please, and sit still. Oh, this is old school shaving. And prepare to answer some questions. General, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Vuris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality, but one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Um... Oh god, this is bad. I feel like I'm supposed to know this from a previous... I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened. I'm assuming this is the honest one. Full test ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you? Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Moving on. You then found shelter in Charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? I don't know. I'm just going to say this. I don't know. I got out of Flotsam with Vernon Roach, commander of the Blue Stripes, and... A murderer of non-humans. We know this gentleman well, Witcher. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. I 
I'm a I this was from The Witcher 2, if I'm not mistaken, right? Had to save Triss. Cause I recall the that. Imprisoned Triss Marigold. Ought to know I care about her, and I tend to rescue those I care about. And so you did, handing Radovid control of the Conclave and Council of Mages in the process. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. I don't know what happened with Seal. I watched her get in the Megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. I don't know what happened, bro. I This sucks. This is where I wish I had played the other games. Well, that alliance has been dissolved. Irrevocably. I killed Letho in Loch Muin. So we heard. It's a good thing you did. Saved our agents some messy and difficult work. I believe that is all. Your signature, please. Affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc. Et Here and... With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Garrett. Good luck with your audience. I'm assuming the top level was the truth and the bottom was the was a fabrication. You know. But I, I don't, that's what I'm assuming, but I, I don't know. I'm sure someone's going in the comments telling me about that right now, if I chose correctly. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Um... Any color as long as it's black. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Let me look. Do I actually get to choose? Yes, I do. Let's take a look. What looks best? Ooh, that looks kind of nice. Not a huge fan of that at all. What do I like better? That looks like... What's the difference? These two look the same. The two on the end look the same. Except... Oh. This doesn't have stripes. This has, uh, like, some sort of flowered pattern. And this one's cut with the side. I actually like this one. That one looks pretty fresh. Cool. Okay, let's go to the, um... Let's, let's apply. I love how there's a towel. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready! <laughs> let's go! <laughs> let's get going, baby. Gotta look good. I guess I could take all of these, but there's no point. I'm ready. A gentleman is ready. I am ready with a towel. God, just kidding. <laughs> Let's put those on. They actually look... These look pretty good. They're light armor one, though. Courtier is doublet. It is light armor. Alright, I'm ready. Can I buy anything else? Or grab anything else? There. <laughs> Take it all. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Yeah, I like it. It's good. Yeah, I suppose so. 
A studded doublet and a sword on my back, that's what would satisfy me. But tough, when in Nilfgaard. Yes? It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Uh... Confirm away. Confirm away. He's doing his job. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Okay. What was it? Uh, it was like left leg forward, right hand on chest, right? Yep. Hmm. Lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Alright, that was right. Let's go. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate type. Your arch-magnificency? I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Don't mind me, I'm just looting. Do they mind? <laughs> oh, that, okay. He can't see me, so I might as well loot shim, loot a bunch of shit. It's all good. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wait. I just wanted some blueberries. All right, let's go. <laughs> you can't see shit. <laughs> Jack me some blueberries. Okay, whatever, bro. Whatever keeps that boat afloat. Is it, oh god, I got a bow, right? In grimy at art cancer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var emres. Do it right. Wow. Just do it. Just do it. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian namen vat gern favort. I thought you bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. Ah! You will find her and bring her to me. She's back, you're sure? Are you sure? Siri left. Went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yennefer will do that after the audience. Why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. She looks grumpy yes. as hell. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more.
Um, only doing this for... No, I don't want to... I want money. Need information, not motivation. I need information, not motivation. Siri leaves few tracks. She'll be hard to find. My core of spies will help you. Count on them and my army, should the need arise. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meririd! Take him to the sorceress. Ooh, who's the sorceress? Is that Yennefer? That's Yennefer, right? Emperor, fuck you, sir! You're in a video game, I don't have to bow to you, bitch. Follow me, if the gentleman pleases. Please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace, whom the gentleman... Disgusts. ...need not bother. What if I didn't want to? Ah, oh, that uh, weapon modifier. Wow, close the door on me. In the morning, and it's past noon. Calm yourself. What? Fuck them. What? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? I'm Herivard the Second, Prince of Elanda. No one cares. I make a wait here like some supplicant. But who for company? The scene has got another great time. Yeah. Master of the Tanner's Guild. I can talk to this guy. Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Know a bit about that. Yeah. I'm, oh, right. You can't. Right. Okay. Know a thing or two about that. Care to explain? Never changes. I try to stay out of things, stand aside. Then comes an urgent summons, and an offer I can't refuse. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? Talk to the Emperor. So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm-hmm. Some weirbubs. I guess that's it. Peace. See ya. Soon, mind you. Whoa, and oh, I just pushed my way around. This for there. Pushing yeah. little children uh, with the fully automatics. Uh, they like to push their weight uh, around. Ah! <laughs> I do look like a boss, though. I thought she was talking about me. Seems the haircut. Blah, blah, blah. Because they shaved my face. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Done what? Oh, talking to Yennefer. Right. I don't even know what I'm doing. Yes. Oh. Then transcribe. Oh. Authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild, but the church of the eternal fire. Don't mind me. I'm just stealing stuff to sell. To tell the one from the other. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism. That please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. You know what? I'll write the report myself. You need only prepare a clean job in triplicate. Poor guy. A shame I have no time. I don't like you. They'll see me. I'm not going to take that one. Oh, Yennefer. How's it going? So now Geralt, you must explain. That tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Woo! Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. That's being a perv, <laughs> I think. 
So they're our agents now. <laughs> so they're our agents now? My, my. You've clearly settled in quick. Geralt, don't twist my words. I know who Emir is. He started this war and its bloodshed. He had my friends killed. But I haven't any other choice. So please, let's not belabor the pros and cons and instead focus on finding Ciri. All right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Ciri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the wild hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trick them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. What's the Wild Hunt want from Ciri? The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I'd... I'd prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been, been seen? So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Tris Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Before we part, why didn't you contact me earlier? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Wow, really? How Let's could you- Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Fine. So many women in this game that you guess this get means involved we need to with. Split up again. Probably Siri as well. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Vel and get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way. Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roamed the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vaatra. That's him over there. I saw him with the and scribe. Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. I shall be waiting. All right. Character entry, Tris Medigold. This chapel here, right? All right, now it's time to loot the place. You guys know how we do. Get I want some apple juice. This stuff probably is completely useless. 
But, like I said, we could probably sell it. If we need to. Alright, let's go back. Let's talk to this guy real quick. I don't need to, but... A shame, my Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events. The war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. Find out some intel. How's the war going? How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edurn was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope, I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. What about Kovir? What about Kavir? Kavir, Kavir values me. its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. What's the situation in Velen? Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever, perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm hmm So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is. And Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling. A former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger. Better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. What's new in Novigrad? Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenford, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships. And Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance. And scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly. And so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, 
any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. What's the latest from Skellige? What's new in Skellige? Wow, I failed that Nothing. one. <laughs> Skellige. The Islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome, but nothing more. Skelliger has always been a footnote to history, and so it shall remain. Fair enough. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. Huh. All right. Thanks, mate. Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. Thanks, mate. All right, well, we're done talking to him.